What's up guys? So today we got Ultimate Legend Jerry Rice 99 overall dual style long pass ground and pound style. 6 foot 2, 97 speed, 100 catch, 98 release, 96 jump, 100 catch in traffic, 99 spectacular, 95 elusiveness, and 100 route running. Also has a 93 spin move and a 96 juke, which you will see in the review. The guy is amazing in open space. So anyways, enough about the stats. Let me show you what he did on the field. So Jerry Rice will be on the left side for most of this review. And right here, the first thing I wanted to uh, test out was his route running, which he was just phenomenal at. And I know I said that I was not going to focus on route running as much, but I had to for this review because, he, you know, he did have 100 route running. So I had to test out those slants and out routes and whatnot. And believe me, he got great separation whenever I did. So that was always um, good to see. And this right here, his speed was definitely amazing. You know, Kevin White's speed, Boss Calvin's speed. The guy can just fly, as you can see here, beat not every corner, but almost every um, every corner and this is what I wanted to get balls Calvin for and as you can see Jerry Rice did it just as well so always good to see the receivers can just burn receiver or burn corners down the field and as far as his deep throw this actually wasn't something that he um, you know was great at which honestly just really surprised me I thought he was gonna be like a great deep threat that was not the case I think these were pretty much all the deep threats I mean the deep passes from the entire season that I played with them this was definitely something he was good at, a uh, run blocking. And look at him and Heinz Ward just getting pancakes, man. Jerry Rice and Heinz Ward, uh, you know, run blocking is just an amazing combination. Look at that. He held that block the entire 10 yards. So, assuming he's going up against a corner, he's going to have great success. I saw him struggle a bit when he got lined up with guys like Lawrence Taylor and whatnot. So, if you're going up against a corner, Jerry Rice will have great success at uh, blocking that corner. And this right here was something that he also did very well at, which was catching in traffic, which is something I, you know, definitely leaned on for the most part, was uh, his catching in traffic. Even double coverage, as you can see here, he will have his moments. But, uh, believe it or not, this is actually not what he did best. And if you're wondering what did he do best, you know, because I did show off his speed, I showed off the deep threat, I'm showing off his catching traffic. And most of you guys know I always say the best thing he did for last. So, this was actually a, a first for me of what a receiver did best, which we'll get to later. But this right here, he did have some bad moments. And this was actually a little surprising. I'm not saying he had a whole bunch of draw passes, but he did have enough to make me say, wow, I did not expect that many. But, but like I said, it wasn't like a bust or anything. He wasn't like terrible. He just had more draw passes than I thought a player of his caliber would. Um, but anyways, what he did best, honestly, in my opinion, which was, uh, like I said, a bit surprising. And also a first was um, this right here beating the press man I know there are a lot of receivers who are really good at beating press but Jerry Rice was on just a whole nother level man as you can see here this is actually how I scored most of my touchdowns with him which is watching him just beat the press over and over it did not matter who the corner was just beating them relentlessly and you know it got to the point where my opponents would you know uh, double coverage and even triple coverage him and believe me I had so many more plays of him beating coverage but you know my opponents realized what I was doing and they would use the safety to um, you know to cut off that play so believe me I had even I think twice as many plays of him beating the press and scoring touchdowns so if you get Jerry Rice I definitely recommend putting him on streaks if you see your opponent anyways guys that's gonna wrap up this review my final thoughts do I think he's worth 1 million coins I mean you know but like I said, he dropped more passes than I thought he would have. So I feel maybe he's worth 750. But seeing as they were getting close to the end of the game, I don't feel his price would drop that much lower. I don't think that they're going to release any new receivers that are going to be better than Rice. I mean, they might re they might release maybe one or two receivers that are like a, a 99 overall. But I don't know how much better a card can be than the Jerry Rice. So I think this might be the end of, you know, like the top tier elite receivers. Except maybe the golden ticket, because I know the golden tickets are still coming out. That there might be like a receiver, but anyways, I don't see his price dropping. So if you want to pick him up, you know, like nine hundred thousand to a million is pretty much what you're gonna need for this uh, sp specific card. And uh, like I said in a couple of videos ago, my plan was to pick up Boss Calvin because of his ground and pound, ninety nine overall, and all that. And as you can see here, Jay Rice definitely gives him a run for his money on paper. Also a 99 overall and ground and pound style. And even the cap value is more so. Apparently the guys at EA feel that he's more valuable than Calvin Johnson. So it all worked out. And obviously, you know, Jay Rice goes for like, you know, half the price as well as Calvin anyway. So is he a top five receiver? You know what? I cannot honestly say that even though on paper it might look like it. But the fact that he failed so much. Top 10, absolutely. But that's just my opinion. You know, if he plays better for you, I'm... I'm 
glad to hear it but honestly i feel he's more of a top 10 than a top five um anyways guys that, oh, that's gonna wrap this up my next review i'm very interested and curious to see how this guy plays my next review is going to be that uh draft champions jamal charles and the reason i chose him was because you know on paper he just absolute uh absolutely destroys ap and even the cap value just like the boss calvin and the rice you know the the guys at ea apparently feel that um you know that draft champions charles is more valuable than ap so when i saw that i was very curious as you can see right here look at this charles beats him on paper got better cap value even though ap has better overall so i'm curious to see how this plays out and i will see y'all boys for that review man peace